Hello and welcome to Leo's Tech Talk. Here, we make tech, simple, and accessible. In today's video, we discuss space updates for the week May 12th to 18. A Falcon 9 rocket streaks across the night sky over Florida as it lifts off for the Starlink 658 mission on May 12th. The Falcon 9 first stage booster B-1073 landed on the SpaceX drone ship, eight and a half minutes after liftoff and the second stage meanwhile deployed the satellite 65 minutes after liftoff. This was the 49th mission of the year for SpaceX. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, performed a successful hot fire test for 665 seconds, of a liquid-fueled rocket engine, that was built using additive manufacturing, known as 3D printing technology. SpaceX Starlink satellites doing just fine after weekend solar storm, however a solar storm doomed 40 satellites in 2022. NASA has appointed David Salvagnini, as its first-ever chief artificial intelligence officer, a move designed to ensure that the agency keeps up with a vital and rapidly evolving field. David Salvagnini was serving as NASA's chief data officer. The United States Space Force aims to launch first Foo Fighter satellites in 2027, for an upcoming Advanced Missile Defense Constellation also known as F-2. The satellites will be tasked with detecting, providing warning and tracking of advanced missile threats, which include hypersonic missiles that can travel at velocities up to Mach 25. SpaceX Starship Test Flight 4 is probably 3 to 5 weeks away, and the objective for the ship is to get past max heating, or at least further than Test Flight 3. SpaceX's most ambitious crewed mission to date, is gearing up to launch this summer, it will include the company's first spacewalk-capable spacesuits, and a Crew Dragon capsule with an interior modified for vacuum exposure. Polaris Dawn is the first of three anticipated missions in the Polaris program, funded by billionaire philanthropist Jared Isaacman. SpaceX launches its 50th Falcon 9 rocket of 2024 to support Starlink's 8-7 mission on May 14 from Vandenberg Space Force Base. 13 of the 20 spacecrafts have direct-to-cell capability, the Falcon 9 first stage booster B-1063, landed on the SpaceX drone ship eight and a half minutes after liftoff and the second stage meanwhile deployed the satellite 65 minutes after liftoff. This was the 308th Falcon landing to date. Helium leak delays Boeing's first Starliner astronaut launch. Starliner had been scheduled to lift off on May 17 for crew flight test to the International Space Station. Teams detected a small helium leak in Starliner's service module and have pushed the target date back to May 25. A small car-sized asteroid 2024 JN-16 flew very close about 18,500 km to Earth Tuesday morning May 14, just two days after it was discovered by astronomers. Blue Origin announced on May 14 that it's targeting Sunday May 19 for its latest suborbital space tourism effort. The mission known as NS-25, will lift off from Blue Origin's West Texas site during a window that opens at 9.30 a.m. EDT. Satellite images of Rafa illustrate Palestinians fleeing the city. The Artemis II astronauts practice in an Orion, during a mock-up exercise. More mock-up simulations are ongoing ahead of the launch. Pictured here are mission specialists Christina Koch of NASA and Jeremy Hansen from Canadian Space Agency. Ingenuity's flying days are over, as it hit the Mars dirt hard on its final flight damaging its rotor blades. Its influence will be felt far into the future. The four-pound rotorcraft's achievements, have opened the door for follow-on aerial craft to fly the friendly but thin atmospheric skies of the Red Planet. NASA's plan to build a train track flexible levitation on a track, on the moon is part of the agency's innovative advanced concepts program, which aims to develop science fiction-like projects for future space exploration. There is a galaxy out there, overflowing with star explosions. The snapshot features UGC 9684, which lies about 240 million light-years from Earth. Astronomers have discovered an Earth-sized planet Spaculos 3, orbiting an ultracool red dwarf star similar in size to Jupiter about 55 light-years away and 100 times less bright than Sun. Astronomers have discovered a new planetary oddball WASP-193b, beyond the solar system, that is as fluffy and light as cotton candy. A view of International Space Station from close range. This was taken by HEO Robotics Satellite from 45 miles. The largest planetary construction site ever seen a Ross 23077 plus 6707, spanning hundreds of billions of miles in size looks like a cosmic butterfly, and for years, it was ignored. James Webb Space Telescope, 
spots most distant and oldest black hole collision ever seen. Pentagon wants commercial space reserved to support military satellites in orbit. Such a plan would combine military, commercial and civil satellites operated by the United States and its allies into one hybrid space architecture. SpaceX stacks its Flight 4 Starship vehicle on the orbital launch mount at its Starbase site in South Texas. ISRO observed the solar activity from the Atithya, L1 Solar Observatory, which is located at the L1 Lagrange point, as well as the Chandrayaan-2 lunar orbiter, that's hanging out around the moon. Japanese-European spacecraft, BP Colombo bound for Mercury, weakened by thruster glitch. The spacecraft is set to make a flyby of Mercury in September, and operators are still unsure of the full impact of this glitch. NASA's Juno probe captures fascinating high-resolution images of Jupiter's icy moon Europa. The Jovian moon, famous for its underground global ocean, may be more active than realized. Boeing says, NASA could get Mars samples back to Earth with a single launch of the Space Launch System rocket. Concept art of a Mars sample return lander in its attached rocket, known as the Mars Ascent Vehicle, on the Red Planet, with the Perseverance rover on the scene as well. Junk from a SpaceX Dragon trunk may have crashed into a Canadian farmer's field. Scientists are mapping Earth's rivers from space before climate change devastates our planet. Europe's long-delayed ExoMars rover mission to the Red Planet just got a boost for its projected launch in 2028. SpaceX reached a new reusability milestone with its Falcon 9 rocket launch from Florida, on Friday night May 17 for 649 mission. The first stage Booster B-1062 launched for a record 21st time, the first in SpaceX rocket fleet to do so landed safely on a drone ship 8.5 minutes after liftoff and it was 309th booster landing to date. A long March 4C rocket lifts off from the Jiqin Satellite Launch Center, in China's Gobi Desert carrying classified Xi'an 23 satellite. This satellite will be used for space environment monitoring. India's ambitious second Mars mission will include a rover, helicopter, sky crane and a supersonic parachute. NASA astronauts practice moonwalking in the Arizona desert. During the week, there will be four simulated moonwalks and six advanced technology runs that will follow the same protocol for operations on Artemis 3 and beyond. James Webb Space Telescope sees Orion Nebula in a stunning new light with incredible detail. NASA is preparing to launch its latest climate science mission, the Polar Radiant Energy and the Far Infrared Experiment, pre-fire, which aims to capture brand new data on how heat is lost to space from Earth's polar regions. Thank you for watching.